In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to get the right amount of liquid to powder ratio. Most acrylic systems are best when used at around a 1 to 1 mix ratio. Too wet of mixture causes unmanageable acrylic beads that can run into the cuticle, excess shrinkage when acrylic hardens, and possible overexposure to monomer over time. If your acrylic mixture is too dry, it will not adhere to the nail plate effectively and can harden before you have had enough time to shape your beads sufficiently. I like to use this Daffin dish with a cork as it is heavier and will not tip when I wipe my brush against it. And this brush is a number 8 Oval Kalinsky. I pour enough monomer into my Daffin dish to just cover my bristles when I dip the brush in. I don't want the monomer or acrylic liquid to come up over the ferrule of my brush. Dip your brush all the way to the bottom of the Daffin dish and wipe against the side. You may see air bubbles come out of your brush. If there are a lot of bubbles, you may want to repeat this. Now that the brush is wet and all the bubbles are out, dip once more and begin pressing liquid out. Start at the ferrule, the metal part of the brush, and firmly begin pressing liquid out. I even brace my pinky against the daffin dish to hold the dish still while I press. Continue down the brush pressing liquid out and stop when you are halfway down the bristles. Lift up your brush now. This forces the liquid down into the tip of the brush where you will need it to pick up powder. To pick up a larger bead of acrylic, leave more liquid in the brush by not pressing down as far. To pick up a smaller bead, press the liquid out further down the brush. Look closely at your brush now and you will see that there is a lot of liquid right at the end. Now, when you press your brush into the powder, this amount of liquid will pick up the same amount of powder. If you do not force the liquid down into the end of your brush, you will pick up powder only with the amount of liquid that is at the tip. There is a lot of liquid up in the belly of the brush that has not absorbed powder. This liquid will come out of the brush when you press the acrylic bead onto the nail and will cause your bead to be too wet. Now, press the brush into the powder using the flattened side of the oval brush. Press the brush and hold it for about two seconds to allow the liquid to be absorbed into the powder. Avoid dragging the brush across the powder to prevent bubbles in your acrylic bead. Lift your brush and look at the bead you have picked up. It should change texture while you watch. Count two to three seconds. If your mixture is right, the dry powder that was picked up will be absorbed into the bead by then and your bead will take on a glassy look. Now it is time to set the bead onto the nail. If your bead was too wet, it will drip off the brush or run when you place it on the nail. If your bead was too dry, it will take longer than two to three seconds for all the excess powder to absorb or it will not absorb. This image is an example of too dry a bead. If you have picked up the perfect size bead but feel there may be too much liquid in your brush, you can press the back of your brush onto a paper towel. You will see liquid be absorbed out of your brush and onto the paper towel. You can place the acrylic bead onto the nail now. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. For more great step-by-step -step lessons on all aspects of nail technology, please visit my site at christiesnails.com.